Previously on The Biggest Loser. Aqua Team, come on in. The Aqua Team of Adrian and Daphne return to the ranch. If you lose 50 pounds, the Aqua Team is back in this game. Boom, baby. 55 pounds, sister. While Daphne impressed the black team. 55 pounds. Adrian wasn't so lucky with the red team. I'm like, had it with him. Like, I, I absolutely hate him. At the weigh-in, Daphne lost one pound. But it was Adrian's two-pound weight loss that cost the red team, causing Mark to question his integrity. Two things immediately that I thought, Adrian. One is that you're playing the game. Two pounds this week could mean a huge weight loss next week, which saves you for another week. That's suspicious looking to me. At the elimination, Adrian furthered the divide between himself and his team. I feel like voting for Nancy is, is playing the game. Listen and keep your mouth close. But it was Nancy who was sent home, leaving Cassandra alone at the ranch. As the season of No Excuses continues, this week's excuse is, I can't lose weight on my own. Not having my grandma come back tonight is horrible because she is having her was like a security blanket. It's scary and I don't really want to do it without her. I don't know. I don't really know what to say. I'm not mad at all. You know. I understand that this is a it has to happen, and she was so okay with it whenever it happened. Cassandra, I'm sad to see your grandmother go. You guys are right next door to us. And I often heard her giggling all the way from the room in the hallway. In the small time that I got to spend with her, I always told her she's sweeter than pie. And just so you know, I didn't vote for her to leave. So just be really careful who you share and who you open up to because you know what, you can get really hurt in this house. I experience it every day. I really do. I'm definitely feeling kind of embarrassed for Adrian for the way he's acting. I don't know if he's doing this on purpose or if he's just doing it to like, just make things interesting. It's just embarrassing. I wanna kind of hide. I'm sure she knows who her friends are here. I didn't say who her friends weren't. I was just saying as far as my thinking. I just find it a little ironic that he would want to say, Nancy, I know, and blah, blah, blah. He doesn't really have any relationship with Nancy whatsoever. He's like an old dog with a bone, you know? He wouldn't let go. Are we having this conversation or are we not, Adrian? We have a conversation. We're going to have it as a group. I'm not going to do it on a one-on-one. -on -one. Adrian, he has to once again make it very clear that he didn't vote for Nancy. And so, again, the team is getting upset, and it's just time for us to meet. And so I try to get him and say, hey, can we just talk? Let's go ahead and get this thing done. You and I need to sit down and we need to talk. I think um, the black team and the red team needs to come in here so we can all have a discussion. No, I think we need the red team. Because bro. it's about the black team and the red team. No, it's not. It's about you the red team. You told me my sister and I tried I to did not say that. the way in today. This is about the red team. You said we're playing the game and we threw the way in today. This is So not... it's about the black and the red team coming in here right now. Adrian? I think my sister should be a part to. of this. I don't have to. I feel like this Adrian. is too emotional okay, right well, then now. I, I respect hey, I don't think this is a time for Thank you. I respect that. All right, because that's your father who wants to do it now. That's all I'm saying. Oh, yeah? Because... So you, you tell him that this is not the time, not me. No, I'm, I'm just not saying, kicking it off. I'm just saying if, if he wants to have a talk with you, you go in and talk with him. No, but I mean, but, but it's about But don't drag everybody else in here with him. But it's, it's about, not, it's not this everybody. This is taking it's, away it's okay. from it's, what If you want it to be red team, I'm fine with it. Daphne, if you want to come in, I'm great with that. But how's this following me? Thank you, that's why I said Can we have some respect for Cassandra, please? Her grandma just left the house and she's dealing with this. But how is that So can we please give her her moment? God. Adrian, stop talking. This isn't your moment. This isn't the Adrian show. This is the biggest loser. All you're doing is making trouble for yourself. It's like you're saying everything wrong and you're just not thinking. And what you should do is step back and listen to what's going on around you before you start trying to make a scene about every little thing that happens. When you I'm saying say, let's deal with this now, but when you say you're the one me, who's escalating this and making no. it. It's got to be everybody. Yes, you are. Because everybody, so needs who do to you be, want? everybody needs to be on one accord. Whenever you say to me that you think Daphne and I threw the match okay, do you today, wanna, then, then that's I'm not, not what I said. You said you thought we were playing the game. I said you were playing the game. Okay. And I'm great to talk to you. And you said, I don't even know what the game is. So let's talk. I want to clear all that up. 
Can I have Done maybe deal. Buddy or Roy just be a mediator? Because I don't want this to be, he said, and he said, I want there to be somebody that, that we can work this out, dude. That's all I'm asking. Adrian is really very angry with me because I say that I'm suspicious about how he only lost two pounds and that I think he's playing the game. And it's just time for us to meet. Nobody else needed to be there. And so it becomes this blown up thing, which could have been pretty simple, at least getting to have the discussion. But I'm figuring out with Adrian, I don't know that there's very much that's very simple. I was frustrated in that moment. And so I did say, something seems suspicious. You're 336 pounds. Mm -hmm two pounds the first week on a week that you seem immune to me thinking gameplay that seems like okay i can't go home as long as i lose a little bit next week potentially be the biggest loser so therefore i've secured myself another week where and so it felt like okay did he just kill our team if you see me in the gym all the time and in workouts busting my butt where are you getting this information from that i'm trying to throw some because i'm up in here working my butt off and i ended up losing two pounds because i'm so worried about you guys gonna vote me off or kick me out or why they won't accept me. So to get back here, and then I feel like you stab me in the back every time I turn, it's like, what the? So I'm furious. If I threw the way in, how would that benefit me with the group when I'm already in a house where it seems like people don't like me and I'm gonna throw a way in? I mean, you know what? I might not have a master's degree, but I got common sense, and that just doesn't make any sense. I just wanna say, I see both sides. And I think this is important for you to hear because you have other team members. They might be thinking the same thing, that you might have thrown it. Mm -hmm. they, they don't know you. For them to be suspicious, it's like, that's not abnormal. Right. It's, it's not just the biggest loser, right? You can have the second biggest weight loss in a week and get sent home because people don't like you. So in other words, you're telling me that if I don't make friends here, regardless of how much I work out, then we're going to send you home because the chemistry is on. This is not even a conversation if certain people on the team in the beginning accepted me. And, and some people still have not accepted me. So just forget it. This is the way it goes. Something does not add up for me that a guy that size, after one week here at the ranch, pulling two pounds, something doesn't make sense. So I want to take him at his word. He says he's not playing the game, but I think I have a reason right now to wait and see whether I can trust him or not. I gotta get immunity. Yeah. I mean, it's, I feel like it's a little easier for you. My relationship with my team is kind of a catch. There are some people that want to be friends with me. There are some people who accept me. But you know what? Just the fact of the way that I was welcomed in here, I always watch my back. I think moving forward into going into this weigh-in, it's gonna be really interesting. I was saying, I thought everything was squashed. Yeah. I mean, even to the point where I thought, you know, me and Conda was, I thought we were cool. Conda, as I've said before, she is such a started. <laughs> she is. Adrian might pull biggest loser, but it's like, I've seen him work out in the gym. We like, worked out next to him. So he, not convinced. He's not giving it more than we are. We can't keep going on like this. You know, we already lost Nancy, and it's like, if Adrian's biggest loser, like, it's going to be incredibly difficult to lose another person. Is there any consideration with either of you guys to go, let's give him another week? No, because okay. I feel like there's tension within our team that wouldn't be there. If Adrian doesn't get Biggest Loser this week, then the decision's gonna be extremely easy for me because he has caused nothing but drama and chaos since he's walked in the door and we don't need anything like that here. But the thing about it is, I mean, you still gotta work as a team. Right, right. Regardless of what y'all going through. I do feel like the drama with the Red Team has distracted him a little bit, but being his big sister, I've been that bug in his ear telling him to knock those haters right off his shoulder, keep doing what he came here to do, and that's to lose weight and forget about what they're talking about. I feel like we're all on the same page. And so I say we just get on with the day, see what happens, and mm -hmm. just let it all fall where it may. If they're going to vote me off because they don't like me, not even looking at that I need to lose weight, that I got health issues. Or that you worked your butt off to get here. I don't have anything to prove to them. I grew up hard, so I mean, this is nothing. This is a walk in a park. This really is. If anything, it makes it easier because I don't know these people. I might not ever see them again, but ultimately, I'm here for one reason, to lose weight and hopefully, when the confetti falls, be the biggest loser. Coming up, the team that loses tonight's challenge.
will lose their trainer for the entire week. I cannot lose Bob. I need Bob this week. Very important that we keep build up this week. It's a good old-fashioned dunk tank. The stakes have never been higher as both teams hang on to their trainer for dear life. This is not fun! Get the inside scoop on tonight's episode from some of our former contestants. Join NBC Live now at NBC.com. freezing we're walking in and we see a pool there's no way that pool is heated if we have to get in that water i will die bob and dolvet are here so i don't know i see the flags that say their names and i'm like oh this would be bad that's kind of making me freak out like it or not right now this is a team game you have to rely on your teammates all of them that's definitely true to win tonight's challenge and it's even more true if you lose. You ready to hear this week's excuse? Yeah. It's one we hear all the time. I can't lose weight on my own. This week, we're going to put it to the test because the team that loses tonight's challenge will lose their trainer for the entire week. Allison, I love you, but Girl, you're crazy. I can't do it on my own. Not yet. I mean, I need Bob. You lose this challenge, and your trainer is not allowed on campus. No emails, no texts, and no excuses. I'm here on the ranch because I, I want to get better. I want to get healthy. I want to continue to lose weight. Dolvet has been key for me in that process. So it's very important that we keep Dolvet this week. One thing to be clear about, you will get your trainer back for the last chance workout only. Oh, well, that'll help. Oh, yeah. Obviously, there's no doubt you don't want to lose this challenge. You're going to have to hang on to them for as long as you can. It's a good old-fashioned dunk tank. Your trainer will be suspended above the pool. As a team, your job is to keep them out of the water by hanging on to a rope. Each team's rope is attached to a 241 and a half pound weight, which is the average amount of weight loss between the two teams. If any player takes their hands off the rope at any point, they are out, and the rest of the team has to pick up the slack. If the entire team lets go of the rope, the weight will hit the target, and your trainer will fall 12 feet into the freezing cold water. What's going through my head is, I better not be in that pool. First team to let their trainers fall into the water loses this challenge and their trainer for the week. Coming into this challenge, like, things are still kind of awkward between, you know, members of the red team. And to think that we might not have all that, it's scary because it's like the most important piece of this puzzle right now. All right, Bob, Dolvec, time to take your positions. Allie, if I fall, will you catch me? Oh, totally. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> I'm climbing up 12 feet, going out to the edge, looking down. You would think the guy who repelled out of a helicopter would be great, right? No, it was scary as <laughs> It was terrifying. This is not fun! I'm not a fan of this either. I'm not a fan at all. You know, I'm not a big fan of heights. And going out onto that ledge and having to crawl out there, and it was really narrow and it was awkward, and I was just kind of like, wait, what am I doing right now? I was just getting very uncomfortable up there. <laughs> Woo! Driving on with both hands. Both hands, Adrian. I got you, Dovet. I got you. The red team, they have all these guys on their team. How can all us girls hold up this rope against all these strong men on the red team? It's just not happening. All right, this challenge begins right now. Damn it. If you let go, you are out. We got you, Bobby. I am not letting go of this rope. I don't care if my gloves rip off, if my wrists and forearms break off. I don't care. Red team, you're done. Doing good, guys. Daphne, how you doing? You gonna drop me in this water? I wouldn't do that to you, babe. 
This is my second week here. I've learned so much with Bob. I cannot lose Bob. I need Bob this week. 10 minutes, guys. It's been 10 minutes. My hands keep flipping. Are your hands flipping? Steady, gang, steady. Chisholm having trouble with that right hand. He keeps shaking it off. My forearms are already cramping up, and my hands, they just feel like, you know, I can't grip them anymore, and how long is this going to last? A lot of movement from the red team. You feel all this burning, like, in your forearms. I mean, seriously, it was just like, oh, my God. It was so hard to hang on to. Black team's weight has not moved an inch. Red team has dropped about a foot. I believe in you, red team. I believe in you. No chaos, no confusion. The mantra that um, Cassandra started using for the whole team was no chaos, no confusion. It's something that I say to them all the time because when there's chaos and confusion, there's no order. Let me hear it. No chaos, no confusion. Kimmy on her tiptoes trying to hold on to that rope. My calves were absolutely on fire. You can let go anytime, Mom. Megan's got a little trash talk for her mom. You've been doing this for 15 minutes. Ready, count of three. One, two, two three. three, pull. It doesn't pull up, guys. Every single time they, they yelled out pull, I got that little feeling in the pit of my stomach. I'm like, oh, here we go. Mm. You guys, I think we're Chris. exerting more energy trying to That's do that. That's what I'm trying to say. Black team dropped a little bit. Their weight's starting to descend. Pull! To think of not having Bob here, it just makes me feel lost. It makes me go back to how I gained all my weight, and I don't know what I'm gonna do without him, so I am not letting my team lose this, especially for me. I need him. You got your swim trunks on underneath those pants, Bob? No. No, I do not. <laughs> Conda, I know you've had your uh, confrontations with Olvet. Don't lie, you wanna see him get a little wet tonight, huh? Maybe a few weeks ago. <laughs> Allison asked me if I want to see Delvet fall into the pool because of our rocky path. You're pissing me off. I'm pissing you off? Oh, good. Stand up. No! Didn't I tell you not to roll your eyes at me? This ain't working. When you're ready to be serious, come back in my gym. <laughs> and how you feeling tonight? I'll hold on. I'll hold on tonight. Wow, Delvet on thin ice. It's my girl. We've made a complete turnaround, and, you know, I need Delvet in order to continue this journey, so I definitely don't want to see him fall in the pool tonight. 20 minutes in. How long can you hold on? No, I can't stop just, it. Just, Mark. I don't have you. Okay. Mark, literally, at the end of his rope. It's become very aware to me that I just don't have very much time left because I just can't do anything else with this rope. Guys, I could drop it off. Are you sure hanging on with two hands isn't going to help? I, I, I'm good. All the guys are hanging on with one hand. Now, I understood why Mark was hanging on with one hand. Mark could barely reach. But everybody else I saw had plenty of rope, so why aren't they holding on with two hands? How long can you set aside the pain? 25 minutes. I'm having to talk myself off the ledge, like, oh my gosh, this is super heavy. I just want to face plant into the pool. 30 minutes. Our team held on for a while, but right now it is dead even. Kimmy is practically leaning into Kim. A lot of movement, Allison, a lot of movement. Kimmy's still doing her swing thing. She's leaning on Kim. I don't know what's going on. Mark, he's hanging on to the edge. I'm thinking right now, if Mark goes, the whole team's gonna go. Guys, I'm right at the end. Talk to him, help him out, let's go. Uh, guys, I don't have it. Oh, crap. No, I can't stop just, it. Just, just. Mark? I don't have it. Okay. Talk to him, help him out, let's go. Mark, at the end of his rope. Guys, I'm right at the end. Both teams tied at this point. 35 minutes into this competition. Black team dropped a little bit. We're letting the negativity get to us. No chaos. Megan, what's the conversation over there on the black team? I'm just tell them no negativity. Focus. Just focus. Is it helping? It's helping me. Allison, please stop talking to me. See this rope right here? Yeah, if I drop it because of you, you're going to be swimming. Okay. Red team time to regain some ground here. Just let go. Hi. Who did that? Not me. My ass was hit. You didn't right switch hands? Didn't Again? Switch hands. I, look at me. Am I a rope? Seriously? At, I'm at the end of my rope. Teamwork, people. I don't feel like swimming tonight. I'm about to lose my rope for real, Kim. I'm holding, I'm grabbing, I'm jumping, I'm on my tippy toes. Something shifted. Um, hang on, hang on. <laughs> I lost it. Kim's gone. And Kimmy is out. 
I couldn't hold on. It's okay. It's okay. Too short. Red team having to readjust, losing Kimmy. Well, it, guys. It has been 40 minutes. Hold tight, everybody. Hold tight. Come on, guys. You're still in this. You're still in this. That one's going. Mark's still hanging it. on, literally. With the, and that's it. Mark's out. Oh, crap. When I lose the rope, I've just really disappointed myself. Black team has still got all seven members over there holding on the rope. No, that sorry. I'm sorry. I'm down to five members now. This cannot be happening. Remaining members of the red team have got to feel the oh extra pressure. Got to add the weight. Don't give up. Don't give up. Oh, my God, you guys. Oh my son. Red team dropped a lot. Oh, no. Kim's out. Conda's out. Buddy's out. You're killing me. Agent Roy will not give up. Hold on, gentlemen. Come on, guys. We can do it. I'm like, hey, Santa, reach into your bag and give us some magic because we're going to need it right about now. My mind is gone, boy. Holy crap, I'm in the water. That's it. I'm gonna kill him. That's what I'm thinking. Black team has won this challenge! Wait! I gave Bob a heart attack in the process. Let me just get off this thing. Warriors! My black team is the strong black team. <laughs> yes! It's an amazing feeling. We pulled it off and we still have him for the week. Sorry, bro. We have four guys on our team. They have two guys. I, I thought this was a shoe-in for us. I thought we for sure were going to win. We lose it. And we're not going to have a trainer this week. That puts us at great risk for elimination for the next weigh-in. All right, listen, listen, listen. You're in charge of cardio regimen, OK? Everybody else, cardio for three hours. Mixing the strength training. Give me 10 and 10. 10 minutes of cardio. 10 minutes strength training, back and forth. Always amp up the intensity. I have a lot of faith in my team. I feel that they really believe in themselves. Red team! It's OK. You put someone's back up against the wall, and they're going to come out fighting. Red team, that is your time with Dolvet. Say goodbye, because next time you will see him is at last chance workout. Good luck, red team. Black team, we got Bob all week. I'll see you guys in the way and good luck. At last night's challenge, I saw a really competitive side in Megan, and I kept thinking, how did someone that competitive get so overweight? Well, I'm the only trainer here this week, and I'm going to use that privilege to find out exactly why. Tell me about life for um, Megan in Missouri. Well, um, horses are like my number one thing in my life. Like I used to, well, I do train horses, but I'm too heavy to follow through with like actual mounting and doing the work from the saddle, so I do all groundwork and then just kind of dead-end projects there, have my friends help me out. But do you love your life? Yes, I do. I, I don't like like me and being overweight because I'm fat and ugly and just that kind of um, restricts the things that I want to do in my life, but every day that I'm, that I'm alive is a blessing. I don't understand how you can love a life if, you, if it sounds completely obvious to me that you don't love yourself. I mean, the way you, you talk to yourself about, I'm fat and I'm ugly. I mean, do you honestly see an ugly woman when you look at yourself in the mirror? If that's the way that you feel, then how, how, what kind of life is that to love? That's, yeah, I'm not, I don't know. Her weight has been holding her back from her life for all this time and the disdain that she feels for herself is what the real culprit is. You, you came on to The Biggest Loser. You're, you're here now, you've got the shirt on, you're, you're working out, you're losing weight. Like, what, what do you want to learn? What do, you wanna, what do you want to change? My entire lifestyle, my everything. I don't ever want this again. Like, this sucks. And I don't ever want to go back.
being fat because my life was so restricted. And I've had big dreams to be a big rodeo star, and you can't do that if you're fat. There's so many things that I want to do with my life. But this way to hold you back from all your dreams, Megan. Exactly. I want you to be able to achieve all the dreams that you want to be able to achieve, but we have to find a way to get that acceptance within you to go, I deserve it. This way that you think about yourself and this way that you feel about yourself, that's what's really holding you back. It all comes down to you being able to look at yourself in the mirror and seeing, seeing the beautiful girl that I see and say, why not me? Yeah, that's something that I've never, I've never even considered, or, but I struggle with it. You can do anything that you put your mind to, but you have to put your mind to it. Mm -hmm. I'm not yet to that point where I am mentally strong enough to um, accept things. I gotta change my psyche before I can get through that wall. Meeting with Bob, it didn't solve everything, but it definitely helped kickstart the process of me figuring out who I am and bettering myself. Coming up. No excuses! The black team goes on a hike. Bob Harper style. I said that I was going to beat I can't out of you in this hike. That's what oh, we're going to be doing. Adrian can't even get the ropes higher than I can. And the red team continues to fall apart without Dalvet. Kidding me? Well, last night we obviously lost the challenge, but we're moving on from that. We don't have our trainer, and we're going to make this work. So this week, we don't have Dovet. And for me personally, being a former athlete, I have to be the one to step up and say, hey, look, I'll put the workout together. I'll get us through this. Today, um, I'm going to start it out right for us with all the things that we've hated the most, which I think makes us stronger. We didn't die last time, so Kim's got to step it up. And if the whole team puts in hard work, the red team can definitely come together this week and win the way in, even without having all that. I have no contact with my team until last chance workout. But what they don't know, I'll be monitoring them this week in the gym. So um, what we're gonna start out with is we're gonna start out with 20 minutes on the treadmill. And then we have seven circuits. This is kind of a weird position for me putting the workout together and we're just trying to make it hard enough. We have bear crawls, jumping jacks. I call it the inchworm, but that's still that's the walk, the walk downs. Out. I do feel pressure to make this workout definitely challenging for us. I, I know that we can do it. We're gonna do the rope, we're gonna do the football grid, and we're gonna do fast feet. These are gonna be two minutes. Jeez. That's intense, two minutes per exercise. That's, that's tough. Good form, Kim, good form. Great form. We start our workout, and um, I'm feeling it early. Man, the team is just pushing. We're just going, hurting, sore, feeling it, but nobody's stopping, nobody's giving up. Now we're pushing ourselves, and we're actually doing it. All right, move in five seconds. To work. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's see what you got. Switch. About one minute. Here we go. Good job, Kim. So, Kim, stepping up. I'm impressed that she's utilizing workouts specifically that I designed for this team. Come on, Red. Don't give up. Come on, you guys. Way to take that leadership role. I'm impressed. Come on, you guys. Ten seconds. That's it. That's it. Come on now. <sighs> Woo! Done. Switch. Uh, uh. Faster, 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 Santa. Faster. Move. You have no idea how painful this is sitting here watching this. Go. Go. I'm here to train. I'm not here to watch. It's driving me crazy. I'm looking at Roy. 
and it just seems like he's fizzled out completely. Like, I'm wondering if his journey here is over, because when he first got here, I mean, it was gung-ho, and he was just all about it. Kim had to pick the heaviest in the house. As the workout progresses, all I hear is Conda starting to complain. Oh my God, I can't lift the clock. Conda, complaint number two. Killing the calves. Oh my gosh, I hate inchworm. The complaints don't stop. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I just hear complaint, complaint, complaint. When does it stop? It kills me just to watch this. It kills me. Squat down a little bit. You'll get a longer range. Right. Thanks, God. At this point, there are some people that want to be friends with me. There are some people who accept me. But you know what? I always watch my back. Adrian can even get the ropes higher than I can. It's a He's like this. I feel like I need immunity every week. Because I know if there has to be a decision made, that decision is probably going to be made for me to go home. Kidding me? What do you care, Conda? So what? Who cares whether or not Adrian is doing what Adrian's doing? Worry about Conda. The rookie thing is though, the gloves are off. Obviously, Conda has some beef with me. For me, I'm trying to change my life. This is not a vacation for me. My team started out strong, but then they lost their intensity and focus towards the end. I'll definitely have a list of things for them to do at the last chance work. Hey, Black Team. Hey. hey. We're at Griffith Park, some of the best hiking that you can do in Los Angeles, California, and that's what we're going to be doing today. You know, if you've ever worked out with me before, you know that if I take you on a hike, it's not going to just be a hike up a hill. I plan on using the mountain. I plan on using ditches. Anything that I can find will be part of my gym today. The excuse this week is I can't do it on my own. Think about all the times that you said I can't. What you've been able to achieve in six short weeks is a testament to the strength that you have mentally and physically. The black team is so pumped up today, especially for having our trainer, Bob, because red team is back at the ranch doing their workout by themselves without a coach. This is the best challenge we could have won. Awesome. Aren't you so glad that we won that challenge and you didn't lose me? Pick up speed. That's it, Chisholm. Two pound weight loss. Doesn't even make sense, Chisholm. Two pounds. In this workout, the, the two pounds I lost last week was is really motivating me, and uh, it's pushing me to do better. Black team is going to be seven strong going into this weigh-in and then out of this weigh-in. Press straight up. Lift. Feel that weight. I want you to visualize yourself up on that scale, protecting your team. Daphne's going to be showing what she's made out of fast. I'm not going to be thinking I can't go into this hike. I don't want everybody here to think I'm the weak link. I'm not the weak link. It's hard and it's difficult. Hold it up. I want that ball to feel heavy, Daphne. But I promise you, I'm not going to quit. That's the way to the black team. You're a black team member right now. I think Daphne is most definitely pushing harder this week, but I really don't care. I really want to be the biggest loser because if Daphne gets immunity, I could potentially be the one going home. You guys are going to be pulling out the numbers to save this team this week. Feel that pressure. As hard as it gets, then when you feel like you can't do anymore, what I want to hear is thank you, Bob, for bringing me out here, caring enough to push me harder than I've ever pushed on some hike. The pain is in your legs, it's in your back, it's just so bad and I want to quit every second. I said that I was going to beat I can't out of you in this hike. That's what we're going to be doing. But I just got I can do this, I can do this, I can do this going through my head and not I can't. Did you actually think for one minute that we were going to take some hike just getting a little burned? Hell no. Here we go. Run to that bridge and come back to me. Let's go. Work as a team. You're only as strong as your weakest person. Keep them going! This week has been a really big week for me, and I'm so proud of myself because I've always wanted to hike up a mountain, and I've always felt like I couldn't because I was too unhealthy, and it makes me realize that my dreams are actually attainable, and that's really cool. Good, Daphne, run your ass up there! Let's go! No excuses! 
As we're ascending up the hill, I noticed that I'm the last one. I'm tired of being the last one. I have two beautiful twin daughters and a seven-year-old son, and I want to lose weight for my daughters because I want to be a role model to them. Both of my daughters, they have basically went through the same pattern as me as far as our eating habits. As the cheese wasn't enough, I love to put them in sour cream. Most of the times, food is not my friend. It's killing me, it's affecting my life, it's affecting the relationships with my kids, and I want to change, and it would be sad for something to happen to me just because I'm a single mom. I mean, my kids, I'm, I'm all they have. I need help. My endurance is not where everybody else is at. Uh-huh. What can I do to get where everybody else is? Uh, you know how you do it? You do what you're doing. Okay. I mean, this is really hard. You're in week two right now, sister. They're in week six. You're doing the best you can. And have you tried to give up on anything? No. No, right? No. That's what you need to think about. I just don't want the rest of the black team to see it as a weakness. And I that's the last, the last And you know why they're not going to see it as a weakness? When you tell them, you tell them that you need the help. Daphne has been on this campus now for two weeks. She's got a lot of walls built around her. And I think that Daphne getting to that real vulnerable place today was just such a great breakthrough for Daphne. I don't want anyone thinking for one second that your teammate right here that's been coming up and last and struggling the whole time, has she stopped? Has she given up? Has she turned around and says, I can't do this anymore, it's just too hard. She has not done that and she is struggling and that's why she needs all of you guys to pull together. You in the very beginning, just being like, I'm the weak one and you're not. Everyone sees how strong you are. When you were struggling all those weeks with your shoulders, everyone was helping you, right? And you needed your teammates. We're on week six. Daphne, she's only on her week two, so I can understand how she's feeling. And it was good that Bob brought it up so we can take a step back and look at the big picture and say, we need to help her along and encourage her. I cannot stress this enough. A strong team goes the distance in this house. By not quitting, by not just standing still, I made it to the top. And for that, I proved to myself today, I deserve to be here. You guys did such a good job today that when we leave here, we got a special lunch waiting for you. Ooh, yeah. Let's get down the hill. We show up at the restaurant and Rachel's here waiting for us, which is great because she's like our all guide to nutrition. As usual, she's looking pretty good. <laughs> and now we're going out to eat with her, so I'm thinking this is a date. This is the first time that you guys are off the ranch eating out at a restaurant. I'd love to test your knowledge as far as what you've learned on the ranch about eating in general, because as far as I'm concerned, restaurant eating can be a jungle out there. You can get lost in so many different descriptions of food. So let's go inside and uh, see what's happened after six weeks. I haven't stepped foot in a restaurant for six weeks now, and I'm a little nervous. Here we're being put in a real life situation, and I'm just wondering, how am I gonna react? So when you open a menu, you wanna focus on what it is that you need. Your needs have changed. You're looking for your veg, your protein, your healthy fat, your complex carbs. So focus on what you need and eliminate the rest. I'm just thinking to myself, let's just leave. I got the pies and the cakes right behind me. Quite honest, it wasn't temptation. This is kind of a quiz for you guys. Yeah. You got the menus. I wanna know what you would have ordered before The Biggest Loser. Oh. Jeremy, I'm starting with you. Why, why me first all the time? <laughs> Cause you're cute. <laughs> for the main thing, I probably would've went with uh, some pasta. Okay. Like the chicken discounty pasta with some Alfredo sauce. Probably comes with breadsticks too. I'm gonna definitely eat some of those. Chicken tenders for sure with a couple of things are ranch because I want them seriously lathered in ranch dressing. Jalapeno poppers, delicious again. I don't know, I probably wouldn't have went with a beer actually. Do you know how many calories you're looking at? Yeah, we're probably like a thousand some calories. Yeah, 3,500 <laughs> calories, my friend. One meal. This is what got us One here. Meal. Wow. Daphne, what about you? I would have ordered the steak 
with the waffle fries and Ooh. added uh, cheddar cheese to it. Yeah. And the red velvet pancake yeah. dripped and served. On top of it, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then I have a sweet tooth. I have to have chocolate. So the chocolate cupcake, yeah. You just, in like 60 seconds, mouthed off about 35 to 4,000 calories minimum. Daphne's diet prior to coming on the ranch was something for all of us to see. And it was just killing her. I'm gonna give you the two versions of myself. Go for it. So if I'm on a date, I get water and I get a salad and I might put chicken on it and then I'm starving afterwards. <laughs> But if I'm with my family, I would have definitely gotten a baked pasta in a pink sauce. And I probably would have gotten a salad with it to make myself feel better. The sweet tooth in me would have definitely wanted to try both cupcakes, the red velvet and the mocha crunch. <laughs> so I have split personality right. for sure, because I can be good. I know how to be good. But if I'm alone or with my friends who I'm comfortable with, baked pasta it is, you know? What you just mentioned is a lot of calories. Being in a restaurant, there is a lot of room for error for me. I love pasta, and yeah, the pasta still has its alluring effects, but I don't want that because I know what it comes with. It comes with all this, and that's what got me here. Jeremy, tell me what was something that you think is safe that you want to eat, but something that you might question, too. I like here. a chicken salad. Although it seems kind of healthy, that yeah. could be a caloric... Yeah. Absolute nightmare. Okay. Some of them average around 1,500 calories. So you can order it. The greens, hold the croutons, dressing on the side. By the way, guys, from here on out, always on the side, the dressing. You have to own the power of how many calories go in there. True. Daphne? The caramelized apple salad. Okay. Caramelized walnuts, quarter of a cup, which is at least what goes into the salad, is 200 calories. A glazed donut is 196 on average. Oh, wow. Shut up. I want the healthy omelet with the egg white. I would make sure they make it dry. That's key, by the way. Dry means that they lightly use a cooking spray. They're not going to put butter, margarine, or oil. You're going to bypass around 200 calories. Wow. 200, sometimes 250. So that can make a huge difference. When you look at a menu, don't limit yourself to how they're offering it. Oh my gosh, this was a complete eye-opener, I think, not only for myself, but my entire team. This is the first time I've ever had to modify what I ordered this much. I thought going into it, again, I was pretty naive, thinking, oh, okay, so go for the salads or go for the fish. But even the things that you think sound really healthy, there's so much portion control and things you don't know that Rachel pointed out. It's showtime, folks. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> don't mess up. I'll take the uh, Caesar salad. No croutons. I like the turkey burger, whole, the pepper jack cheese, and the avocado. The healthy omelet, and I like that, no oil. So when the contestants started to order, I was a little bit nervous, but then I saw them asking the right questions, making the right changes to their menu items, and that was such a feel-good. I really felt like this was going to be a take-home message for them. Bon appetit, enjoy it. There you go. Oh yeah, and the salad. Can we count this as a date, Rachel? It's a date. Of <laughs> six other people. <laughs> the excuse of the week is, I can't do this on my own. You know what? There is no excuse for this. You can do it on your own with this nutritional system. Here's to your first meal out at a restaurant on Biggest Loser. To good health and happiness by eating right. Cape Corral posted this question at NBC.com. I want to fill a cabinet with healthy snacks so I have something good to grab. What are the best things to eat for satisfying my cravings? My go-to pantry snack is what I call the skinny nut pistachios. For just 100 calories, you get 30 pistachios along with a heavy dose of protective nutrients. Plus, the shells stop you from plowing through them and the fiber keeps you full longer. Pair them with fresh or dried fruit and you've got the perfect pre-workout grab-and-go snack. In the first hour of The Biggest Loser, Adrian and the red team continue to clash. So it's about the black and the this red This is team. taking... Can we have some respect for Cassandra, please? Then, the black team outlasted the red team in an old-fashioned dunk tank challenge. The team that loses tonight's challenge will lose their trainer. Up. Sending Dolvet into the water. <laughs> Coming up, Dolvet is back, and he is not happy. Connor complains about Adrian speeding the treadmill. I don't care. Hey, guys. Go, oh, man. <laughs>
still bus walking towards us. I'm so happy to see his big smile. It feels like just a huge relief just lifted off of my shoulders. You know, I don't have to be responsible for these people anymore. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've seen you guys. And you left us in good hands. Yeah? Yeah. Bill Vett Jr. Yeah. Really? <laughs> we all supported her, but she yeah. was the leader. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I wish I was here. You have no idea. But I want you to know, I've been watching you this entire time. Um, really? Each of you have my eyes on you the entire time. <laughs> All I can think about is, did I do enough? Was it hard enough? Did I embarrass myself? I mean, just all these things are flying through my mind, like, oh my God. First of all, let me just say this. I appreciate you guys pushing yourselves. Kim, you're an ultimate leader. You definitely took that leadership role, and I appreciate that. I know they do as well. From what I saw, mentally, I'm concerned about the separation of the team. I've seen it time and time again when we rely so much on distraction, we forget to focus on ourselves. You spent so much time complaining about Adrian. Let me back that up. You spent so much time complaining like this. Got me a list of complaints. I like to call this the condo list. I have 13 complaints here. Complaints that came about Adrian. Someone picked up the heaviest rope. Not going to do jumping jacks. I'm going to do elbows to knees. Lo and behold is a list of Conda's complaints. And on this list were things about me. But I always got to watch my back here. I don't know any other way to handle being at the ranch but just to keep people at an arm length distance. God, these calves, get equipment. Conda complains about Adrian speeding the treadmill. I don't care. I don't care. You shouldn't care. Stop caring. Stop caring about what's happening over here. Let's focus on you. It doesn't bother me that Delvet calls me out in front of everyone. I mean, my team knows I complain. I can't hide it. I do complain. At this point, it's like I can get angry and get upset about his list, or I can just listen to what he has to say and go into the gym and prove to him that, yeah, you know what? I do complain, but I also show up. All I know is this. I'm back and it's good to be back. You guys ready to rock? Yep. Let's get to work. Let's go. There's obviously been a lot of tension this week. This is my one chance, my one shot to work them out. Everyone's head needs to be in the right place. I'm not gonna let this drama ruin our chances of winning the way in. So that, you know what? I showed up here and everybody was on me. I just showed up. I don't know if they're envious, mm -hmm. I don't know if they're jealous, I don't know what, mm -hmm. I don't have to answer to them. Mm -hmm. And I told Mark and them, I'm not on your team, I'm not on Connor's team, this is Dovet's team. Stop right there, stop, stop. I'm gonna give you advice, man to man, mm -hmm. how to properly fit into that group behind you. And the best way for you to gain respect, go harder than anybody up there. Don't talk about, yeah, I got this, and I'm here to win, and you better believe it, can't nothing stop me. Don't, don't, don't dance for me. Mm -hmm. Don't dance for me. Just do the work. I don't stop. I don't stop everything you're talking That's about. That's not I the do. impression I that they stop. have. They're intimidated. They do have that impression. They know. That's they, intimidation. That's not the impression they have. That's not the impression I have right now. Okay. And I'll tell you why. You lost two pounds last week. You know, the red team has shut Adrian out due to his inability to listen. And all week, that's what's been keeping him separated from his teammates. Even talking to him, I found that Adrian's biggest obstacle, he doesn't listen to others. I hope that for once he's listening and takes my advice. Go to work! This is God. I'm gonna show you today how much. Last chance workout. Last chance workout. Last chance workout. Let's go. Speed, 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 speed. So that is definitely cranking it up today because he's seen the lack of intensity throughout the week with some people. And he just wants us to know that this is the level that it should be at at all times. You sweat. You go hard. There's never time to say, I can relax. You got me? Yes, sir. What is getting me through the pain is I know this is my last chance workout. And if this is my last chance, I got to give it all I got. You know, we have a weigh-in. And in that weigh-in, I want to be the biggest loser. Get back on it. Get back on it. Last chance right here. Strong, steady workout today, people. Strong and steady. 
here we are at Last Chance Workout. Dolvet's back. The red team has their trainer. They're working extremely hard. So for me, I just want to continue to do what I've been doing all week, but in fifth gear. And I want to stay in fifth gear. Get those legs going. The more you can sink your plane down and open those legs out. That's what you're looking for. Last chance right here. You guys have had a trainer all week. You guys have been busting your ass every single day. Daphne losing one pound. Chisholm losing two pounds. Not this week. Five, four, three, two. Stand up. Good strong week. Climb to the top. Good, Chisholm. I feel like if we lose this weigh-in, I'm the second smallest on the team. And if I don't continue to kind of up my game, that I could be the one going home. So I'm just working as hard as I can. Three, two, come on. Oh. Reach for the ceiling. Three, go, three, go, go, go. Go, give me more, give me more. Go hard, go hard, go hard. 14, one it more than me. 13, go. 12, that's the way to earn respect is to go hard. Can't nobody tell you anything if you go hard. Yes, sir. Earn the respect. Don't talk about it, do it. I've been dying all week to get my hands on you. I've been dying all week. You tell me I can't train my team anymore. I don't like that. This is how you train if I'm here or not. At this level. If y'all think I came here today to play with you, you're highly mistaken. Listen to me, and I'll say it again. They've not had their trainer all week, but they've been busting their ass. I've been watching it. You guys have to just keep going and know you can be the five girls and two boys that take this. The black team has everything to prove, really. We've had our trainer all week, so we have a huge advantage. Cassandra, you're standing there doing nothing. Go! Eight, seven. The red team definitely hasn't just slacked off, and it's not like I think that we're a shoe in to win, but I know that we've worked really hard and we've been pushed a lot harder than they can push themselves. Yes, 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 Cassandra, go! You gotta pick up speed now. Pick up the speed. Go, 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 go! Three, two, one, stop. <sighs> you took a big leadership role while I was away. You no, know, that's not why I came here. I still felt like every person on our team was my responsibility this week. And I feel responsible for what happens tomorrow. Look at me, Ken. Anything. Your kids, work, getting back in shape, holding me up, you're strong enough. Okay? I know the feeling that he must have when he's standing there after he's trained us all week long and given us everything that he has and how much he, he cares about what happens to us. When I see everybody standing up on that scale tomorrow, I, I feel like I'm gonna have like this extra, extra nervousness about, did I do enough while he wasn't here? I like, get part of your paycheck. That was a lot. Wow. That was a lot of pressure. That was a lot. 50%? I take about 75. Wow. A lot. Heading into this way in week six, the only advantage I had was to work everyone out in the last chance workout. I couldn't be more nervous than I am right now. No doubt tonight it is sink or swim. This week it was all about proving an excuse, right or wrong. I can't lose weight on my own. So to test this week's excuse, red team, we threw you into the deep end. Or rather, just dull bed. So far, the red team has won two weigh-ins. The black team has won three. Red team, if you want to even that score, tonight's your night. The team with the lowest percentage of weight loss will face elimination tonight, and one member of that team will be going home. The player on the losing team with the highest percentage of weight loss will have immunity. Let's start the weigh-in. Conda, you're up first. Go, Conda. It's really important for us to win this weigh-in just because we want to prove to ourselves that you guys had your trainer, black team, but we didn't, and we still lost this much weight. 
So it's, it's kind of like, you know, we want to prove it to them, we want to prove it to ourselves, we want to prove it to all that. Conda, your previous weight was 263 pounds. Your current weight is... This weigh-in, I'm really nervous. I know that I wasn't given the opportunity to concentrate 100% on just me. I had to concentrate on the rest of the team, and I'm just really hoping that there's going to be a good number on the scale. Kim, your previous weight was 215 pounds. Your current weight is... with that. I just think that, you know, whenever you get up here, it's like you always want more. I think you did a brilliant job. Six pounds is great for this week, honestly. With you having to be in my position and lead your team, you were involved and you were meticulous, and I, and I applaud you for that. Thank you. Thanks, Kim. Thanks. You lost six pounds this week, adding to the red team's total, making it 14 pounds so far. You have five people left to weigh in. And Roy, you're going next. If we don't win the weigh-in, I could be the person who goes home. And I'm not ready to go, so I'm concerned about uh, what's going to happen in today's weigh-in. Roy, your previous weight was 268 pounds. Your current weight is... worried about it. It's not quite what I'd like to see, but it's in the right direction. I'm proud of that. Work for it. You're going to change Santa's image <laughs> just all by yourself. All right, thanks, Roy. Thank you. You lost seven pounds this week, adding to the red team's total, making it 21 pounds so far. There are four of you left to weigh in red team. And Kimmy is next. Kimmy, your previous weight was 193 pounds. Your current weight is. Congratulations on making it into the 180s. Woohoo! <laughs> you I'm lost to get there. Five pounds this week. I worked for every pound, I promise you. The whole time I was thinking, you gotta look Dolette in the face and see disappointment, and I dread that more than anything. All right, Kimmy, thank you very much. Thank you. You lost five pounds this week, adding to the red team's total, making it 26 pounds so far. The red team is dropping some pretty impressive numbers, and this is without a trainer for most of the week. And that definitely made black team and Bob very nervous. Red team, you have three players left to weigh in. Mark, you're up. Hello. I want to represent well for the team. I want to add to the validity of the no excuses. I can lose weight without a trainer, and I believe that I'm going to be able to do it. All right, Mark. Your previous weight was 251 pounds. Your current weight is... I mean... That's awesome. I mean, uh, my size, how I'm feeling, absolutely. I, I feel really good. I'm, it was a good test. Six weeks in, I can't tell you how proud I am of the fact that you can still put up seven pounds and I was gone for the entire week. Your drive is evident, and I'm extremely happy about that number. Awesome. That makes it all worthwhile. So. Thanks a lot. Uh -huh. Yeah, Mark. 
My dad lost seven pounds and that's incredible. It's amazing to see him just become like this guy that he's always wanted to be and I've always wanted him to, to achieve for himself. You lost seven pounds this week, adding to the red team's total, making it 33 pounds so far. Two people left to weigh in. Buddy's next. It has been a rough week for the red team. Uh, we, we missed our trainer, Dovet. Um, I feel like we did good, but we would have done better with him there. And I don't really know what to expect on the scale. Buddy, your previous weight was 345 pounds. Your current weight is. My big reason for coming here is I have a newborn and I want to be healthy in 25 years. So uh, that makes a nine even better because I'm just making serious progress towards where I need to be. Buddy goes home on his own weeks ago and loses 10 pounds. I'm away and he loses nine pounds. This is pretty impressive. This guy gets it. But he lost nine pounds this week, adding to the red team's total, making it 42 pounds so far. Red team, you have one person left to weigh in. Come on up, Adrian. I'm really nervous because, you know, Adrian got two pounds last week. He potentially has a really good shot of losing the most weight this week and, and maybe getting biggest loser. And I don't want that immunity to go to Adrian for sure. Adrian, you spent four weeks at home losing weight without Dolbet. You were here for one week with him and then you had to kind of say goodbye again. So it's been a bit of a roller coaster for you. Well, I'm hoping to see a difference this week. Uh, the first week, the workout was intense. It's still intense having Kimmy work us out this weekend. Hopefully that skill will reflect not only my hard work, but the hard work and leadership of Kimmy and Dovet. So let's see. Adrian, your previous weight was 334 pounds. Your current weight is. Adrian, your previous weight was 334 pounds. Nothing is really promised here dealing with this bunch. So this whole week, I've worked very hard to ensure that I have immunity in this way in Your current weight is. I can deal with that, most definitely. I'm just going above and beyond. I'm doing things that mentally that I even think that I can do. Thanks. Thank you. When I got nine pounds, I was just happy because I was saying to myself that two pounds was a hoax. You know, I got here and I just needed to get acclimated to how everything works. I mean, it's nine pounds. That's almost, that's almost 10 pounds in a week. But we're talking about a guy who weighs 100 pounds more than I do. Um, but our difference in weight loss was only two pounds. I expected more from him. Adrian, you lost nine pounds this week, making the red team's total weight loss for the week 51 pounds, with a total percentage of weight loss of 2.73%. Seeing as how the red team just lost 51 pounds and they did it without a trainer, this is making me totally nervous for our way in. We had our trainer all week. All right, black team, in order to win tonight's weigh-in and stay safe from elimination tonight, you need to have lost more than 48 pounds. There are seven of you, seven pounds apiece. All right, we are gonna start the black team's weigh-in tonight with the person who had immunity last week, Daphne. You're going first. Daphne, your previous weight was 244 pounds. Your current weight is. <laughs> I was really nervous since I got one pound last week, but that feels really, really good. I think that this week has been a real eye-opening experience for Daphne. Just like 
what are the, what's, what's life going to be like? What are you here for? What do you want? And that's what I've been talking to Daphne about. And it's like, I really can't wait to get to know Daphne a lot more because I think that there's a lot to this woman. This week has been a very big week for me. I've allowed myself to be vulnerable. I've allowed the black team to see a part of me that a lot of people don't get to see. And I'm knocking down those walls. There'll still be some standing, but I'm knocking down those walls. I'm getting there one day at a time. Daphne, you lost eight pounds starting the black team off. Remember, you need to have lost more than 48 pounds in order to beat the red team and be safe. Cassandra, you're up next. Cassandra, your previous weight was 200 pounds. I know that was really disappointing to you last week to not just come in under into the 100s. Oh, absolutely. I've been thinking about that a lot and just having that in my mind. And it's really exciting because I haven't, you know, been there in so long. All right, Cassandra, your previous weight was 200 pounds. Your current weight is. I'm in the 100s. It's like, oh. Good for you. Thanks. I'm at 195. Oh my gosh. Goodbye, good riddance. I'm done with you. 200s, goodbye. And I'm in the 100s, Wonderland. <laughs> you lost five pounds this week, adding to the black team's total, making it 13 pounds so far. You have five players left to weigh in. You need to have lost more than 48 pounds to win this weigh-in. Chris, you're next. Chris, your previous weight was 211 pounds. Your current weight is... Well, kind of like everybody else, it's about a pound less than I was looking for, but... That feels really good. Thanks, Chris. Thanks. Chris, you lost five pounds this week, adding to the black team's total, making it 18 pounds so far. Black team, you're looking for more than 48. After the first three people weigh in, I'm not really feeling confident about our team, you know? I'm getting really nervous about the numbers. It's just, they're not adding up like I thought they should, you know? For the last four of us standing up here to have to pull out the rest of the weight, I mean, it's it's going to be a, a huge thing. Up next is Megan. Megan, your previous weight was 229 pounds. Your current weight is... Bob kind of tapped into my head a little bit, that real competitive side of me, and that it seems to work well for me, so that's that's pretty cool. I've not been there for a while. Yeah, I think that, uh, you know, Megan likes that. She's like, you know, our little country girl, and I think that you've got to just kind of get that little competitive spirit to be able to um, get the things that you want in life. Good for you, Megan. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. you lost six pounds this week, adding to the black team's total, making it 24 pounds so far. You have three players left to weigh in. Black team, remember, you're looking for more than 48. You're not quite halfway there. Emily, you're next. I'm really nervous tonight. The red team didn't have dull vent all week, and now I'm seeing how low the black team numbers are. I mean, I have no idea what's going to happen tonight. Emily, your previous weight was 230 pounds. Your current weight is... Congratulations. Thanks, Thank Emily. You. Thank you. I definitely feel like I pulled my weight, literally, for the black team. I mean, we each had to lose seven. I lost my seven. I did my part. Um, let's see what the boys have to pull now. You lost seven pounds this week, Emily, adding to the black team's total, making it 31 pounds so far. In order to beat the red team, you need to have lost more than 48 pounds. You have two players left to weigh in. They've got Jeremy and Chisholm left, and not necessarily celebrating yet, but they're gonna have to do do some really big numbers to be able to, to pull this out for, for their team. All right, guys, you need to have lost an average of nine pounds a piece to win this weigh-in for the black team. Jeremy, you're up. I 
feel like I have nine pounds. If Emily did seven, I typically lose a little more weight than her, I'm bigger. But at the same time, it's like, dang, that's still nine pounds. Like, that's not easy. It's, it's gonna be tough. Your previous weight was 338 pounds. Your current weight is. Next week, don't miss exclusive content not seen on TV and interact live with other fans during the show. Join NBC Live at NBC.com. Jeremy, your previous weight was 338 pounds. Your current weight is... I've had great success every time I've been up here, I feel like, so I've been nervous every time, and that's just because I want to do so well, and it's awesome when you do good. I mean, it's awesome. Uh, the more I learn about this guy, the more I love him, and you are on such a high point right now, Jeremy, and I'm just uh, very happy for what you've been able to achieve this week. All right, Jeremy, thank you. I'm literally seeing him change into a different person. I'm so happy that I get to share this experience with him. He and I are so close, and I believe in him so much, and he is the most important thing to me here. You lost 12 pounds this week, Jeremy, adding to the black team's total, making it 43 pounds. You have one person left to weigh in. Chisholm, you are dying to get up here. Let's do it. Jeremy losing 12 pounds is great, like, amazing. It takes so much pressure off me for this but I need to lose more than five pounds to win it for my team. And the thing is, I thought last week that I would have lost nine, 10 pounds, but I lost two. So is the same thing gonna happen this week? All right, Chisholm, your team needs to have lost more than 48 pounds to beat the red team, be safe from elimination, which means you need to have lost more than five pounds. How nervous are you right now? Uh, I'm nervous, you know, last week I lost two pounds and it it sucked a lot, and you know, I've not heard anything but that from Bob this week. So here I am, last person on the scale, and ready to pull it out for my team. All right, let's see you do it. Chisholm, your previous weight was 318 pounds. Your current weight is. That is the biggest number I've had since I've been here. So that's awesome. Wow, that's awesome. So really excited about that. <laughs> We're pretty hard about those two pounds last week, huh? You're not kidding. I mean, this whole week has just been about, I want you to feel the breath of the black team on the back of your neck. I said that to him, and I said that to Daphne every day. <laughs> and you delivered. All right, thanks very much. Mm -hmm. Good job, Chisholm. 13 pounds is incredible. For me and Jeremy to come up last two guys, pull a 12 and a 13, that's amazing for our team. And to know that I'm gonna be here another week, the rest of my team is here, it's a great feeling. Chisholm, you lost 13 pounds this week, making the black team's total weight loss 56 pounds. With a total percentage of weight loss of 3.16%. Congratulations, Black Team. You have won the land. Yes! 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 again, two weeks in a row. So look out, guys. We are a force to be reckoned with. Black Team wins the land automatically. I'm happy, but at the same time, I can't help but think about my brother. He may be sent home. All right, Red Team, I'm sorry to tell you that you are again facing elimination tonight. There's only one person on the Red Team that you cannot vote for, and that is the person with the highest percentage of weight loss. And this week, that player is Conda. Red Team, you have certainly proven tonight that there are no excuses, that you can do this. You can lose weight without your trainer. Unfortunately, tonight it was not enough. 
ultimately at The Biggest Loser, having trainers is the ultimate advantage. Congratulations, the black team, red team. You have a tough decision to make. Good luck. I've been thinking for a while that Adrian has definitely rubbed some of the red team the wrong way, but you know what? He's a bigger guy. And a lot of times that plays out to the advantage of the team because he has a lot to lose. You know, some of these smaller people are gonna run out of weight to lose eventually. And so the team winds up hurting because they can't lose any more weight. So uh, I don't really know how this is gonna go tonight. Coming up, the Biggest Loser transformation moment. See how the eliminated player looks today. The Biggest Loser Club, it's changing lives. Want to be a contestant on The Biggest Loser? Log on to NBC.com for details. Red team, here we are in elimination again. We're going to go around the room and each of you will reveal whom you have voted for. The person who receives the most votes will be eliminated. Roy, you're going to start us off tonight. When I tried to uh, rationalize who should go home, I couldn't come up with an answer. Um, there's nobody here that deserves to go home. I came back around again and thought, thought uh, well, okay, how about who could succeed and excel even at home? And um, I finally came up with an answer. This is hard for me to do, but I voted for Mark. Mark, that's one vote for you. Moving on to you, Kim. The person that I voted for tonight, I feel like they got an unfortunate uh, disadvantage in coming here the way that they did. And it just didn't really, he just didn't really gel well with the team. And um, that's why I voted for Adrian. I never was even given a chance. I think that kind of the way that you came into the game was kind of loud, and um, I think that kind of turned a lot of people off. And I just don't think that you personally showed me the level that I was looking for in a teammate. I came in through the door and I was shot down for, I don't, I still don't know what reason other than being thrown into the mix. I didn't throw myself into the mix. I worked hard to get back here. All right, Adrian, that's one vote for you. And Mark, you have one vote. Conda. The person I voted for, things were rough at first, but I saw you prove yourself, but every other member on this team is a part of my family and I can't vote for them, and I would be Adrian. With you, my issue is, I feel like you always, you have an idea in your head, and even if I try to help you, or even if I say I know what it's like to be there, you already have this mentality where you know how it is, and no matter what I try, say or try to help you, you, you refuse to believe that that's what's going on, and you even don't give it a second thought. And that's where I feel like, my conflict comes in with you. Okay. Well, it's, it's very easy for me to refuse to believe. When Dovet shows up and has a list of you talking about me behind my back, it's like, wow, I thought we were done with this. So as far as listening to you and you giving me good guidance, it's like, even if I want to hear it, it's falling on deaf ears, because in the same breath, you're turning around and there's evidence of you talking about me. So it's like, how do, how do I respond to that? I call Roy Grandpa Roy. Kim is like my sister. Kimmy's like my mom. Those are like my brothers. I'm sorry that we don't have a close relationship. I can't vote for them. I'm not going to. I'm sorry. Okay, you want me to listen to you in an order no, for me to listen to you? No, I was just trying to give you advice. Okay. I was just I'm saying, I know how hard it is Carry to on, hear Allison. second week. It's time to hear your vote. This week, I feel like as far as who needs to lose a lot of weight and who has medical problems, Mark has the least. So as far as this week, I voted for Mark. Okay. Adrian, you have two votes. Mark, you have two votes. It's time to hear from you, Mark. Short and sweet, the thing that matters most to me is um, what what I see in the gym and what I see with weight loss. And I don't believe that this person has given all they have. I don't think that they've proven that they don't want to be here, but I just haven't seen the, the effort. And so I voted for Adrian. Adrian. 
Now this is the man right here, when I got nine pounds on a scale, leaned back behind me and gave me dap and said, good job. This is the man right here that told me action and words go together. And I told him the amount of work I put in. And he said numerous times that you have put in work. And that's the only thing I, I, I want to say time and time again. I came here and wasn't even given a chance, period. So why was that not enough for you, Mike? For the issues for last week with the two pounds, adding to that for this week, 11 pounds in two weeks. Over the course of four weeks, that's going to be around 22 pounds. I'm 100 pounds less than you. I lost two pounds less than that. I think you could have done more. That's the way it worked tonight, and so that's my vote. Thank you, Mr. Youth Faster. <sighs> These guys that came together and anonymously, once again, second time out, have decided who they're voting for. Nope. So everybody gets it through osmosis. So we can't vote our heart. If it happens to match, then it must be against you, right? And, and I want to say something if I can get through it. This is the last supper, and I won't be sitting at this table. So you guys enjoy your meal by yourself, and I'm glad you'll be able to sleep good tonight. Um, Adrian. Never mind. We're good. I mean, if the man can't even look me in the eye, then we're, we're done. Buddy. It's up to you. Uh, if your vote is for Adrian, that will be enough. If your vote is for anyone else, we'll have to keep going. This is a season about no excuses. And um, the person I voted for, I feel like, keeps making excuses and keeps pointing fingers at other people and saying, you're my problem. You didn't accept me. You didn't embrace me. And you did this. It's all, I'm just hearing an excuse. Excuse, excuse. I feel like they'll do well at home, but uh, yeah, I think it's my decision. I will rest well tonight. Um, my vote is for Adrian. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised whatsoever. So I came in here and nobody has a team effort besides Roy. Nobody came here to embrace me and to help me do anything. So I'm pretty much in the dark. I was in the dark about the vote about Nancy, and I would have never criticized you guys or said anything about Nancy if somebody just said, you know, Nancy wanted to go home. So regardless of what anybody's saying, nobody came here and said, how can we put him on point and make him part of the team? Plain and simple. We don't have anything to say, man. I, just, I don't have I anything. I don't have anything to say to you. Okay. I don't have anything to say to you. And besides Roy, I would respect if none of you guys embrace my my sister when you go into the house. For for respect for me, don't hover around my sister, embrace her, and make like everything's okay. Please don't. For me, the struggle um, of being on the ranch uh, was uncomfortable. I thought going on to the ranch that I would have this miraculous weight loss in the time of being there. And I didn't know that I would be coming home so soon. The excuse for the last week that I was there was, I can't lose weight on my own. And it was ironic because I have lost weight on my own. Before I got to the biggest loser, I weighed 420 pounds. Today. I weigh 320 pounds. That is 100 pounds that I've lost on this journey. I'm still losing the weight, and I'm not done yet. There you go, Adrian. Good job. Yeah, they'll be a biggest loser. But I want to make sure that I lose more weight than the person that actually has the confetti fall on them. I want to take home the at-home prize. Go ahead, walk to mommy. Come on. And I think the beautiful thing about coming home was being here for my family. I have a great wife that I can trust, that we love each other. And then I have this beautiful daughter. She's healthy. And now I have this boy or girl on the way. Yeah. It's a baby. You say lips, nose. The Adrian that's here now is the Adrian that I always knew he would be. He absolutely amazes me. Every day I tell him, I say, you are my inspiration. He's like Superman. He really is. How you doing, stinky face? 
All right, you ready? I'm back at work. I have a production company. I do voiceover, jingles, but I also have a non for profit. This is a way that we can help kids. They come in, have a healthy snack. We'll go into the studio, we'll play some tracks, they'll write to it. It's just a point for them to release. I really enjoy working with the community. I enjoy what I do. There's just a flow that I'm in right now that I've never been in. And there's a glow about me that I know that hasn't been there. And I feel like I'm honestly mastering my life. 